What's going on guys? We have a really exciting video for you. A lot, a lot of people have asked us to try the Blaze pizza crust. They have a keto pizza crust. You can order it online. You can do whatever toppings and you can see the exact macros, which we're gonna show you. We've done that. It seems like a good option. The ingredients are a little suspect, but it's a great- I don't think they're that suspect. I thought they use like brown rice, flour and stuff. Maybe there's a few like little traces of that type of stuff. Did but you see the ingredients online? Yeah, I'll put them on the screen here. Okay. I've also never heard of Blaze Pizza. I think it like is coming about kind of recently. No, I think it's popular. It's been around for yeah, a while. Yeah, and it's nationwide too. So there might be one near you. But the coolest thing is you can go on the website and you just put in like keto pizza crust and mm -hmm. it pre-populates everything that's on it. And then you can change things around. So we did some modifications to the one that we're about to order. Yes, we did. We've had mixed reviews. I will say that. Some people like it. Some people say it's not worth it. But if you're at the restaurant or like you're really craving it, I think it's a great option option in a pinch, but we have to try it first. I actually think it's pretty cool because a lot of places, not a lot, but some places will have keto pizzas and it's like they just put cheese in the pizza oven. And it's like, oh, yeah. you, you cook cheese for me. Thank Take you. A tray. But they actually like put some effort, some R&D into this crust. It has like cauliflower, it has cheese, it has um, flax meal. It seems like they actually made a solid effort at like creating a new menu item specifically for keto. Yeah. As opposed to just being like, oh, we can make you a pizza without the crust and the sauce which is a good option so it's cheese you can get we'll bake you cheese if you'd like to place an order please go to blazepizza.com or download our mobile app never mind i don't know if you can eat can you even order on the phone i don't know doesn't sound like it we'll order online i just placed the order uh-oh i gotta take julius it looks like he's a sad boy ever since we had theo julius has really bonded with me at nights he sleeps in my bed he loves me and he loves riding in the car the base pizza 11 inch is seven or eight dollars to upgrade to the keto crust it's four additional dollars which is not bad the whole pizza which i'll put our specific order on screen and if you go to the blog post below we'll have all of the keto friendly options to get at blaze pizza our total came to 13 dollars, which is pretty reasonable so it seems like it's kind of a cheap pizza to begin with and 11 inches it's going to be kind of small i'll also put the nutrition for our pizza order on the screen it's going to be about four to five net carbs maybe even a little less. I think between three and five net carbs per slice and there's six slices per pizza. So you could conceivably eat the whole pizza and be like around 20 net carbs. I just placed the order, I'm gonna go pick it up. We just picked up the pizza and, okay, so a quick review of Blaze Pizza if you've never been there. It's basically like Subway, but for pizza. They, you know, you put the crust out and you like pick what you want. I bypassed all that because I ordered online. So I haven't looked at what this looks like yet, but it's really thin crust and they have the wood fire pizza oven in the back. They pop it in for like five minutes or so. Instead of the spicy tomato sauce, which is what they input automatically when you order a keto pizza, I got a garlic pesto sauce. I got mozzarella cheese, I got bacon, grilled chicken, I added that, so that's a little bit more expensive. Black olives, tomatoes, basil, red onion, oregano, and arugula with a pesto drizzle. Let's do a little unboxing here. Whoa. That actually looked really good. I'm impressed with this. And the entire keto crust, they actually had it listed in the store is six net carbs for the whole crust. And then you get a little bit of extra carbs just because of the toppings and stuff. Give us your first impressions of the Blaze Pizza. Oh, cute box. Small. Small? Small, but cute. I'm gonna open this box and zoom in on Mega's face as I do it. That looks good, I'm into it. I like the box too. Okay, once Theo calms down, we are gonna dig in. So I didn't mention to you, it's kind of like a subway for pizza. There's a, you pick your crust, oh, that's you put cool. your toppings on, yeah. Or chipotle. I got sort of a low quality vibe to it, but when I look at this pizza, this looks gourmet. What's the macros? Cause that looks like a one person pizza. It is, yeah. That's, their individual pizzas is an 11 inch pizza. Okay. So the entire crust, as I was saying, is six net carbs, and then toppings add a little bit to it. As a once in a while treat, like for pizza night, I think this is totally valid. Game day. I was trying to think, I think this is the first real 
nationwide menu item that was like specifically made for keto. I can't think of one off the top of my head. There's a, a Johnny's pizza in our area. There is. They do like a summer keto crust. But yeah, there's places that will do like little modifications to make something keto for you, but there's nothing I've seen that's like this. Yeah, you just go in and be like, I want a keto pizza. Yeah. Why well, are you trying to eat it all? Well, I want to know what I'm getting into if I eat it all. <laughs> Taste is really all there is now. Okay, go for it. You know, it's pretty sturdy. It's not flimsy. The pesto is pretty the phenomenal. The pesto is phenomenal, yeah. I like it. It's very good. It's really, really good. I can't imagine someone not liking this if they like pizza. Uh, close to it, not a 10, but like... No, not a 10. Eight out of 10? Pizza's a 10. No, I, on the scale of like keto pizzas. Yeah. I'd I mean, give it like an eight out of 10. It definitely satisfies that for me, 100%. There's a crispiness to the crust. Yeah, a little like crispy cheese. Because mm -hmm. there's some cheese in the crust. Now that I took that second bite... Second bite wasn't as good. No. The flavor is like it's like the the flavor is not non-existent. Yeah, I'm getting that now a little bit too. Like the flavor of the crispy crust, that is really good. And like with pesto, I think once you get in here more, it's a little more bland. It's very bland. Like the cheese doesn't even come through. Wow, that one turn, made a big turn. It did make a little bit of a turn. I'd still give it like a solid score though, like a seven. Mm. I would get this again. I would order this. Okay. Maybe we'd have to, like they have different cheeses. You could different try, they sauces. have like goat cheese, they have feta cheese, different sauces. So yeah, maybe you want to like flavor it up. I'm going to get right in here in the middle to really give, this is a salad bite in the middle yeah, here. Yeah, bacon, chicken, all that good stuff. They need more seasonings in the crust. You think it's the crust? I feel like the cheese is just really bland. I could eat this whole thing, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I could eat that whole thing, no problem. But like, yeah, I'd have to, I would definitely get it again if I just changed up the flavors. Very customizable, easy to do online. Yeah, you ordered it online, right? Yeah, they have a nutrition calculator on there too. So everything you add and take away, it tells you how it affects the nutrition. And if you're someone who's nervous to order on the phone like Matt is, then you get the convenience of doing it online. So definitely let us know down below if you've tried this, what your thoughts are. And yeah, I guess what your favorite type of keto pizza is. There's like fathead, there's cauliflower crust, there's chicken crust, there's blaze. And check out the blog post below to read more about it. Yep. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.